Hi, this is Dino, and today I want to show you a new capability in the Generate JWT and Verify JWT policies in Apigee in the SaaS product. Uh, we've added the capability to generate and verify encrypted uh, JWT. Uh, and I'll show you what this looks like. We're still using the Generate JWT policy, so that's the same policy that you were able to use to generate a signed JWT. Now this policy can now generate an encrypted JWT, uh, which is a little bit different. Signed JWT can be decoded. Uh, the signed JWT format is basically just a concatenation of a couple of base64 encoded JSON payloads um, followed by a signature. So three parts, header, payload, Signature, the header and the payload are base64 encoded uh, JSON blobs, uh, which means anybody that holds a signed JWT can decode it. You can't necessarily verify the signature unless you have the right public key, but you can decode it. Encrypted JWT is a little bit different. What that means is it produces um, the encrypted JWT is um, a format that encrypts the payload. So while the holder could decode the header, the holder could not decode the payload. And that means the payload is itself secret or private. The way it works um, is with, um, uh, with asymmetric algorithms and symmetric algorithms. I can show you just the, the asymmetric algorithm that depends on uh, RSA keys. Um, we use the public key for the RSA key pair to perform the encryption. Uh, that way it's secret, and then only the holder of the private key, only that party that has the private key can then decrypt it, decrypt the JWT. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. So I've got a, uh, an API proxy here that um, uses a generate JWT policy, and I specify a few settings. This is the content encryption um, uh, the key encryption algorithm and then the content encryption algorithm. And these are both defined in the JWT, uh, JWA specification. And then um, the public key, which should be familiar if you've ever used the generate JWT or the verify JWT policy. And then some other um, elements, configuration elements for common claims uh, like issuer, subject, audience, uh, the expiry of that thing, and so on, and where to put the output. So that's generate JWT. We have a similar extension for the verify JWT in capability. So now um, we can specify the um, expected key encryption algorithm and the expected content encryption algorithm. Uh, this one, the content encryption algorithm is uh, optional. You don't have to specify that. You do have to specify the key encryption algorithm. That's important uh, when you're a verifier of an encrypted uh, JWT. And to verify, you will need that private key, as I mentioned. And again, we can use the familiar elements, configuration elements inside verify JWT to check um, either the standard claims or custom claims. So let's see it work. This is the API proxy. The endpoints I have, um, there's a, uh, a generate endpoint, a verify endpoint, and then there's a couple endpoints to get the public key and the private key. Uh, and I'll just turn the trace on, and so we'll see this thing working. So let me go here, and uh, first what we want to do is generate a JWT. So I'm just sending in a request, please generate a JWT out. And let's see what this looked like. So the first thing we do is um, we assign some variables and I've just got a, a contrived uh, RSA key pair that's sort of hard coded into this API proxy. You of course would want to use the encrypted KVM in order to support that. Uh, and then we run the generate JWT and it reads the public key because um, that's what we do for encryption and then we get the output and then uh, I decode that I have a uh, JWT decode or decode JWT policy that just lets me see what's in there and you can see I can uh, with the decode I can read the header and the claims in the header but I cannot read the uh, the payload so neither the decode JWT policy in Apogee nor any decoder in any language would be able to read the payload. All we get is the ciphertext because the decode um, doesn't 
doesn't use um, a private key. It's just it's just decoding. So we can see what the ciphertext looks like and what the encrypted key looks like. Uh, we can see the initialization vector, uh, the auth tag. These are just um, elements of the encrypted JWT. And then finally, we, we send that response back to the client, in this case, curl. Um, this is the JWT that's, um, that's returned. And I want to just take a closer look at that um, using an online tool um, that I've got. So if I drop this in, so it's this is the address. If I drop this in here, I can paste in my JWT and I can see um, right here, I can, again, read the header, but this, this decoder can't uh, decode the, the payload either unless I give it the private key, in which case uh, we can decrypt. And what is the private key? Well, let's just get that. Um, we want to get the private key there. So we'll be able to retrieve that. This is the private key that was used, or sorry, the private key that corresponds to the public key that was used to, to encrypt. And let me paste that in. And then I should be able to um, use this button to verify the JWT and then pull out the, the decrypted claims. And you can see these all look familiar. These are standard JWT claims. They were just encrypted, so we couldn't see them until we decrypted. That's the subject, audience, issuer, expiry, uh, issued at time, and a JTI. So um, with this tool, I can see the one, two, three, four, five parts of the uh, encrypted JWT in encoded form. And then I can actually decode it, uh, decode the header, and decode and, and decrypt the payload with the correct private key. Um, I can also do the same with uh, Apigee, obviously. So I can do um, uh, a verify, call the, the verify endpoint. And uh, let me flip back to the Apigee UI. So now my, my final uh, call in here, it calls verify JWT. This is the input JWT that I sent, which was previously generated by Apigee. And it is retrieving the private key. You won't see that in, um, in the trace because um, but because we're obscuring that because it's a private variable. But we do get to see, again, all the same uh, header information and uh, cipher information that we saw with the decode JWT policy. But now we also get to see the payload. So this is the clear text payload. And these are all the uh, kind of exploded claims in the payload, including um, the time remaining, the expiry and other things. And also, um, a final variable that says, yeah, that, that JWT is valid. It's encrypted and it's valid. So uh, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Now you understand that uh, in Apigee, you now have new capabilities in the generate JWT and verify JWT policy uh, that can use the encryption algorithms. Uh, let me know of questions. I hope this is helpful. See you next time.